Ooh, 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 he's so fancy. <laughs> What's up, guys, and welcome back to Battle Cats. Now, last episode, I ended off by asking you guys, which would you rather see me do more? Into the Future Chapter 2 Moon, where we'd unlock Valkyrie's true form, or Stories of Legend Alcatraz, where we'd unlock Ururun Wolf? I posted a poll at the end of the video, and the vast majority of you guys voted for Into the Future Chapter 2 Moon. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Personally, I was kind of hoping for Ururun Wolf, but I'm gonna uphold my end of the promise. First, though, I really want to check out this Metal Slug collaboration that's going on, because this is unlike anything I've ever seen in Battle Cats before. It looks like over the next few weeks we have two limited stages slash collaborations with Metal Slug Defense and Super Metal Slug Defense, and I think I want to try out Metal Slug Defense first, because I'm not sure how super these levels are. It's only three total stages, difficulty easy, with an extremely small chance to pick up Yakutaro. Yakutaro. Some of the cats, you can tell what they are by their name, and others are a complete Japanese mystery. But I am more than down for unlocking more units, so we're gonna move on to Immortal Alan O'Neill <laughs> with a bunch of time rewards. Okay, I'm down. I've never played Metal Slug or Metal Slug Defense or any of those games, but I'm sure I'll be able to figure it out. I've played lots of Battle Cats. This is a different background. Ooh, what are you? Oh, there's new enemies. That's awesome. I want to hope that that's some kind of jellyfish and not a penis with tentacles. Sorry, penis with tentacles and a gun. But I'm going to have to send out Paris. Oh my god, Paris. You hit it so hard that it vomited. <laughs> that doesn't seem very nice. What on earth are they? They must be units from Metal Slug, right? Oh yeah, and look, there's a little dude tied up on top of the base. Usually that's what I'm gonna unlock, so is, wait, is that Yukutaro? Am I gonna get Metal Slug units? I don't know if I really like that. Oh my god, there's a dude with a machine gun, what? <laughs> uh, should I have taken this more seriously? Look at the little guys! Ah, uh, where's the cat cannon? Well, my cannon's better than your machine gun. Oh my god, my cats are gigantic. We finally have a scale for the cats, because that was a regular human being. So, they're like 15 feet tall. Paris is probably like a floating bus. Got those time rewards though, 50,000, a cat CPU, 10,000, and a speed up. And you probably won't really be able to notice it because I already have like, five million experience. <laughs> I've been very busy over the weekend because there were, oh, the stages are gone. There was a Dark Descent stage happening as well as the XP stages for the weekend. So if you beat Sweet XP for 500 energy, you get like almost half a million experience. And then I would beat one of the Dark Descent stages for only like 60 and refill my energy. And I did that a lot of times, like 15 times. So we now have lots of experience to evolve stuff for the moon, but I kind of want to continue with Metal Slug Defense. Moving on to Attack on Huge Hermit with uh, some more pretty decent time rewards. Like I said, these might just be a warm up. They might not be particularly difficult stages, but I don't know how many attempts is going to take me to beat into the future Chapter 2 moon. I'd rather it be too many than not enough to fill an episode. <laughs> So what are you guys gonna send out now in the desert? Anything? Some kind of huge hermit, perhaps? I kind of like the little bearded dude all the same. Like, oh, tanks? Uh, okay. Well, once again, if I send out Wallcat, who is the same height as a tank, you can see why cats have taken over the world. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Oh, uh, that is cool. Okay, you know what? Let's just send out a bunch of really big, strong cats and break this down quickly. Because tanks stand no... Like, humans, you've already lost. Okay, the world already belongs to cats and aliens and angels. I don't know why there aren't any human angels, but it's... Oh, well, okay. No, you know what? Maybe there's room for crabs. I never really thought of crabs. I don't suppose these guys are technically metal units, are they? I have no idea. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it might have still been difficulty easy. I'm not really sure, but that was cool. That was a very big, very detailed, very colorful boss, so I like it. Did we get the time rewards? One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. On the flawless run so far. 
Only 7,000 experience, but so far this is really neat. So moving on to Jupiter King Convoy. So this is the last one, right? We can get a rare cat ticket at the end of this one. All right. Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Maybe I should have checked to see if the difficulty had ramped up a whole lot. Ooh, that's a really cool background. Sending out little troops and spaghetti dicks. All right, I, I can deal with that. It's like I said, I don't know how I feel about this because that was the boss from the la- Oh my god. <laughs> that little guy with the machine gun was the boss from the first level. Whoa. That's pretty freaking cool, I'm not gonna lie, and I kinda wish I had been saving up and actually sending out cats because, oh, it sends lightning and lasers. <laughs> it's a lightning and laser robot. This is, I, I like this, okay? Even though I wasn't sure how I would feel about having other games units in Battle Cats, they're really freaking cool. <laughs> they're way more detailed than a lot of Battle Cats enemies. How strong is this thing, do you wonder? I should have checked the difficulty because I really don't. It's not doing a whole lot, right? That, that laser thing, yeah, it kills a couple of basic cats, but they're not really sending anything else out. Making it difficult to, oh, okay. I was gonna say, it's making it difficult to stack Paris because they do blow them down, but they're not gonna kill my Ubers, so I don't think there's a whole lot to worry about. Okay, <laughs> well, we got through that boss. And now we are getting through the tanks and the little tiny men. I kind of want to move on to the next stage. I don't know how long Into the Future Chapter 2 is going to take me, though. Mm, uh, no, I want to continue with this. If we, if we have to wait an episode, then I'll do it. But I'm sure there'll be enough time for everything, right? We, we can probably manage to get through it all. I can blow this stuff down really quickly. Hopefully I get uh, that little man tied up on the tower. Y Yuki Saki Madura or whatever the hell his name was. Give me my reward, come on. Okay, I got 150,000 experience, that's all right. Sniper cat, rare ticket, energy. Oh, come on. So we went easy, normal, hard, and we only had an unlikely chance of getting him. What about super metal slug defense? Is that just gonna be more difficult? It's only one stage, guaranteed chance to get him. Oh, and it's an insane level. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I want. So we can get uh, three cat tickets. That's pretty sweet. And say, so, yeah, you know what? I could do it. I could take on robots and tanks and stuff like that. I got uh, 15 foot tall floating cats with roses. What's to worry about? That tank is technically smaller than the robot I just faced. Is that the boss? I thought I, he I heard a little explosion. Hmm. Send out a couple of uh, crazed walls and see what he does. I'm concerned that he may do nothing. Just fires little missiles. That's it. That can't be the boss. Wait a minute. If humans were that tall, then what the hell is Black Cat? Actually, technically she's a cat, right? Because she's in Battle Cat, she's called Black Cat, We've unlocked her, she, she's sporting the cat emblems. So maybe people evolved to be that terrifyingly large? <laughs> I have no idea, now I'm really confused. I thought that had to scale down Pat, but maybe these are just very small humans. Their tanks are kind of the same size as them. So it doesn't all add up. This guy doesn't really do anything. Launches a, a couple of missiles every now and then and does a little bit of damage, but I think I'm gonna outrange him. Let's see what Bahamut has to say about this. I mean, don't get me wrong, your little helmet tank is adorable, but I'm curious what happens when my giant dragon of destruction gets his hands on it. <laughs> Maybe you guys should just stick to the hair drying spaghetti jellyfish. And ooh, that guy survives a lethal attack. That's interesting. Okay, so, oh, oh, no, 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 that wasn't the boss. I thought that was the boss. I haven't even been saving up and sending out stuff. Uh, now they have an attack helicopter. Uh, is that bad? Oh, that, that feels bad. That definitely feels bad. I see a small issue with his defense though. Okay, no, no, here comes the crab as well. I was gonna say I see a small issue with their defense because we could just blow up the base, right? He's floating above the base. That's not usually where you wanna be. Partisan got cannon, and we need to send out more damage dealers and keep meat shielding. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing how this might be classified as insane. There is so much crap on the screen. 
<laughs> no, Bahamut down. Uh, this, this, this is probably bad, right? This definitely feels bad. That guy doesn't launch many missiles, but when he does, they, oh, actually, they kind of miss. Because the crab is pushing everything away. Hmm, oh, no, more crabs? What? Why do I have crabs? They're not really pushing forward, though. Oh, oh, okay, we got rid of the crabs, yes, okay, I'm cured, thank God. I think I have two black cats up now as well. This is why I use black cat. Because her range is just insane. So even if they do manage to deal a little bit of damage to her, she gets pushed back. She can return. Oh, and do more damage. Those rockets really hurt. They landed. Ah, uh, crap, crap, crap. Okay, less talking. More meat shielding. Bahamut. Maybe help out a little bit. Now they're moving up a little bit. And now I'm a little bit concerned because they're doing a whole lot of damage with those rockets. But like I said, Black Cat gets hurt. She moves back. And now she can keep attacking from the back lines, doing tons of damage. Bahamut, maybe blow. Oh, no, no. I need you to blow up the crab. Please blow up the crab. I know it's got some kind of giant engine on its back, but engines won't save you. And then I'm going to fire the cat cannon because I want to get all these little turds out of the way. We really need to move up. Oh, that hurts. I don't really have any damage dealers out there, but I think I have an ace up my sleeve. What I'm going to do is fire the cat cannon and summon War God Yukimura right away. And then he's going to dodge the missiles and get in there. He, he's, he's made the distance. He's in there right away. There's no meat shields, guys. Just wail on the helicopter. This is the first time we've actually done damage to it. <laughs> Keep hitting it. Oh, don't die. Oh, come on. Okay, we got some damage in. That worked. I could just keep meat shielding and keeping them at parity. Like, the... What is this? I don't even know what they're called. The Metal Slug Faction? They have really good meat shields. They're really difficult to get through, and they actually do do some level of damage. My meat shields don't really do anything but act as literal cannon fodder. Uh, that's not good, right? That's probably very not good. One time no assassin bear, I'm gonna hold on to my cat cannon because I think you can kill the assassin bear with it and I'm not gonna send out any units. I kind of want to bait them a little bit closer to my base because then we can kill the meat shields and hopefully have some kind of opening, right? It'll take longer for him to get reinforcements. So let's just send out uh, everything. Yeah, let's just send out everything, guys. Now is the time. We're gonna kill all of, uh, actually, know what now? Screw it, fire the cat cannon. Get rid of everything. Now hit him. Hit him as hard as, hit him with everything. No, <gasps> everything keeps dying. Guys, come on. We actually have an opening here. We're actually hitting him directly. We have to be. There's nothing below him. Please, please kill him before the bears. No, <laughs> this is impossible. Ooh, yes! We finally did it! Oh my god, no, no, and the, the level, and the level, kill everything, fire the cat cannon, blow it all up. I, I even killed the little guy with a sign, and I haven't said anything in the last, like, five minutes, because I'm like, an assassin bear is gonna come at some point, and they're gonna ruin everything, but I guess there is no assassin bear, because this is a specifically collab stage, so there's no regular units. Oh, thank god, that took forever! How much health did that freaking thing have? I swear to God. Oh, wait, no, this is guaranteed chance, right? So there's no way I cannot get my reward. I'm definitely not going to be getting any kind of time reward. I can tell you that I can't wait to see this score. <laughs> this might be the longest that I've ever spent in a Battle Cats level. Score zero! <laughs> okay, but we got a rare cat, Yakutaro. So it is a cat. So, okay. And cat food, good, good. I need to see what this is. You bold-faced liars. That is not a cat. That is a strolling hippie who can fire Kamehameha's. <laughs> okay, you know what? Now you got my attention. Recruited from Metal Slug Defense, an elite commando masked as a typical POW might survive lethal attacks. Okay, so he can survive and he has an area attack and what looks like a pretty long range, right? Can you fire me another Kamehameha? That look that looks like it goes pretty far. I'm definitely interested. Now before we take on into the future chapter two moon, I really want to recruit one more anti-alien cat, just to kind of round out the team. And I have something specific in mind. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find what I'm looking for, but what I'm thinking of is a chubby looking cat chasing some kind of funny looking raccoon with a flamethrower. Now if, if somebody could maybe make that happen, 
then we, we could finally move on with this episode. Yeah, did you see? There you go. Kachi Kachi. Which sounds like some kind of berry you would find in a hipster's antioxidant drink. Cat R&D cloned an ancient super weapon, a cute tanuki that can survive being set on fire. Yeah, you see? Funny looking raccoon, tanuki. That's just the Japanese word for funny looking raccoon, right? Might weaken alien slash angel. So this should be able to weaken the alien boss that we're gonna encounter, whatever it is. And this is a really cool little Uber. This is the one that I got a couple of episodes ago when I lost the footage. I told you guys I would get to it eventually. I wanted to save it for in the future chapter two moon because it is anti-alien. And it's really strange because you can spam it. It only costs 960 and you can send it out kind of like Paris. I haven't been overly impressed by it, but maybe I, I, I can't even imagine what it's going to turn into when we evolve it, but I have enough experience that we're going to find out. It actually has an area of attack and it does affect angels as well, so this is going to be all around useful, but we are going to evolve Kachi Kachi into Fire Squad Kachiyama. What? Okay, hold on. I got enough experience that I'm probably going to... Just get you to level 20 right now. Oh, you cost so little. This is great. Okay, you're level 25. Screw it. And then what is a fire squad Kachiyama? I really hope they don't mean fire squad like firing squad. And they've put the Tanuki up against a wall, blindfolded it, given it a cigarette. And now there's a bunch of chubby cats aiming at it with rifles because that would be certainly concerning. <laughs> no, not even a little bit. They have a little fire truck and it's decked out with cats. Oh my God, this is amazing. But whoa, whoa, what? I was gonna say what happened to the Tanuki. <laughs> okay, so now you just, well, you're, you're, you're literal fire truck. You're not a fire fighting truck. You're a fire launching truck. That is amazing. Communing with ancient spirits, Kachi now gathers all the heat he has absorbed for explosive assaults, weakens alien slash angel area attack. Oh, that is just dope. Can I please get this on the first try? I would really love to just crush this move on. I already spent so much time struggling against helicopters today that I really don't need to deal with aliens. Now, what are you? Last time we had the giant floating butthole slug. This time, maybe alien bun bun? I don't think I've ever seen an alien bun bun in this game. We got a whole lot of nothing coming our way right now. That kind of looks like the Contra symbol on top. Oh, we got scissor kangaroos. Yeah, all right. Well, we can send out a couple of more basic cats and just keep them at the base. Wait for something to happen. Thank God for Castaway Cat. <laughs> He's just keeping them frozen there, getting me lots of money. Okay, we're gonna send out Dark Merchant Babble first because once again, he earns me extra money. So anything he kills will just get me off to a better start. And then I should probably send out White Rabbit as well to slow anything that's coming. I only have level four cat wallet right now, but that's probably fine, right? Okay, we just got a couple of stupid looking dogs. We could probably one shot those, right? Bam. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Okay, send in the fire truck. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh my God, that is such a great new cat. I am really happy to have that. That is amazing. Even though it's black and white, I kind of, what? what? I thought we were unlocking Valkyrie. I didn't know Valkyrie was the boss. Oh, that that's corrupted Valkyrie, of course. Okay, um, now we might want to take this a little bit more seriously because Valkyrie is a very, very strong cat and doesn't seem to be, oh no, it's being weakened, it's being slowed by anti-alien, so it is alien Valkyrie. Good, good, good. Maybe we could just keep pushing it back and destroy the base. Oh, 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 I have a lot of money. Dark Merchant Babble is making me a very rich man. We need more castaways in there to freeze her. This is really cool. So I'm guessing she is gonna look like, uh, she's gonna look like that when I unlock her true form. Seems kind of counterintuitive to video game logic though, because she's putting on more clothes. Usually the higher tier you get, the less clothes they wear, but I I'm not complaining. I miss using Valkyrie. I really want her back in the lineup. We got another uh, Kachi Kachi mobile rolling up. <laughs> Weakening. We're doing pretty good. We're keeping them at parity. I feel a lot better about this run than I did my stupid helicopter level earlier. Uh, don't have a whole lot of anti-alien going right now, though. Can we maybe get something else out? You're kind of pushing forward a little bit. Oh, oh, 
damaging that stupid... Ah, crap. Okay, the mobile's down. This is bad. This is very, very bad. I don't have any useful cats out there right now. And they're shockwaving and area of attacking. Oh, crap. Am I going to lose? I have the money to send something out. Uh, I might need to send out a castaway. I don't want to meet shield fully because... They're just gonna get blown up. I need the money to send out useful stuff. Yes, Castaway, just freeze. Freeze things. Freeze all the things. Keep them frozen, you're doing so good. Where's the cat cannon? You might save me yet. If I can get enough, even to send out Wolf Child Dale, we might be able to push them back and delay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, she's out. Now full meat shield in effect. Kill stuff. This needs to be the chain that we need to work right now. Wolf Child Dale needs to kill some stuff. And then I can send out, oh, okay, we sent out some Dark Merchant, Dark Merchant, get out there, kill everything, are they hitting the base? No, they're not hitting the base, and we have more money, White Rabbit, we have one full round of cats left, everything is coming out now, uh, I'm really afraid that she's just gonna touch the base and make it blow up, wait, no, 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 this, it wasn't even her, it was the stupid pig shockwave, damn it! 35%! Man, that wasn't even close. I, I could... I could have used God there to pull her back. I just hate wasting cat food. I'd rather just try again. I think I've done a little bit better a job of delaying this time. We're level 8, I have lots of money, I have all of my damage dealers out there before we actually start fighting Valkyrie. So now, all I need to focus on is meat shielding and getting everything out there as soon as possible when it's off cooldown. If this comes down to that stupid pig being near my base again, I'm probably gonna have to use God for the first time. I need a little divine intervention to get that stupid pig off my back because... Like, like, Valkyrie isn't really the problem. Valkyrie gets stopped by meat shields, and Valkyrie gets slowed by all of my stuff, but that shockwave, I just can't stop it from damaging my base. It's a serious problem. Like, we're doing pretty well right now. If anything, we might soon be damaging her base. Can I fire the Zikat cannon? Bounce everything back a little bit? Right? They're not even pushing up anymore. Okay, this is going slightly better. We're slowing, we're blowing stuff up, we're still earning lots of money. I don't know if I've really lost anybody. It's hard to tell in the giant mess of cats sometimes. <laughs> I think everybody is still hanging out. Okay, good, good, good. We got another wolf princess coming soon, hopefully. Just a couple more seconds. Come on, guys. I would really like to blow up a bear right about now. You guys think about blowing up a bear? He's just kind of sitting there. Very, ooh, ooh, okay, good pushback. I can't tell if we're damaging their base because Valkyrie's wings are just too massive. Oh, she's got four wings now. I never even noticed, she only had two in a regular form, right? Interesting, okay. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have enough time this episode to use my true form Valkyrie when I inevitably beat this level, but I'm looking forward to having her in the lineup again. Please kill stuff. Dark Merchant is down. Okay, I need to just chill out for a little bit. Oh, we got two catchy ca uh, We only got one catchy catchy mobile. I was gonna say, we have two. We almost had two. I wanna save up to get another Dark Merchant out there. I feel like he's the one that's really driving my economy right now. We can just, ooh, okay. Maybe, maybe don't lighten up on the meat shields. Maybe that's a bad idea. Oh, that might have been a mistake. Uh, maybe don't count your Valkyries before they hatch because this stupid pig does not want to die and I can't kill anything. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is real bad. I might have to use God anyway. It's like I said, Valkyrie's not the issue here, so even if she dies, it doesn't really matter all that much. Paris, Paris, please. Paris, please help me. I have to kill stuff. Kill, kill the things. Okay, no, no, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. God, help. Ooh. Ooh, I've never done this before. The first advent, God appears. Normally, you need cat food to get his help, but it's free this time. Everyone gets one. Okay, uh, what does this do? You want me to click on that one? Produce as many cats as you want for one minute. Uh, yes, please. That sounds pretty, okay. Ooh, 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 he's so fancy. <laughs> What is happening? There are so many cats. I just wanted you to blow them away. If they kill my base anyway, I am gonna be pissed. Okay, no, send out, send out all the cats, all the cats that I want, right? I, no, I can't, no, it, all it does is get rid of cooldown. It doesn't make them free. I wanted them to be free. Oh, this is crap. This is, this is actually not that, oh, maybe? I don't know if they're free or not. I can't really tell. I'm so confused right now. What is and isn't... Oh, it's dead. It doesn't matter. Oh, th thanks. 
Thanks, God. Appreciate it. You could have been a little clearer on what the hell this does because I still don't get it. But sure, they're they're dead. We're moving forward. I feel like that might not have done anything. It gets rid of cooldown, right? Because right now there are no cooldowns on anything that I send out or anything that I do. But but stuff still costs money. I can't send out whatever I want. That would have really cost me 90 cat food to use. That doesn't seem like a great deal. But either way, I think we're gonna get through it now. <laughs> Happy I could use God for the first time, but I kind of regret having to waste it on a level that I probably could have beaten if I given it a couple more tries. Like, it's, it's far from impossible. Did I not get Valkyrie's true form? Oh, please tell me I don't need to do this again. Please tell me that this isn't the same stupid story that we've heard four times before. <laughs> I can't handle it if it is, man. And so, the alien empire fell before the power of the cat army. It's the same goddamn thing. A new chapter of the future saga is here. Select Into the Future from the title screen to take on this fresh challenge. That's right! And now, when the Heavenly Tower returns, we can go above floor 16. So that's something to look forward to. All clear bonus, a new cat combo. I've never bothered using those. Special unit, Valkyrie Cat's true form acquired. And we can evolve after reaching level 20. We already have that. Okay. So now we can evolve her. I clearly need to do that to finish off the episode. And now we can do the Ancients Arise, Take Back Earth, right? And we can get Bahamut's true form next, which is going to be very interesting. Let's just really quickly evolve our special cat, right? She should be back here at the end. She's locked at level 20, which upsets me. Wish I'd get her to level 30, but I'm fine with this evolution. Your congrats, your cat evolved into Holy Valkyrie. Oh, that's awesome. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Battle Cats, guys. And I promise to get to Into the Future Chapter 3 Moon in a more timely manner. Because like I said, I know I've been putting this off for a very long time, mostly because I can't show it on camera. It's the exact same as Chapter 1. You guys don't wanna watch that. And I don't really wanna play it because it's just super grindy. But I'll do my best to make it so that we don't have to wait months to get Bahamut's true form. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Yeah!